to Ukraine now where the stakes are rising ever higher. The airspace over Crimea is now closed. Masked armed men have taken over the airport and armored personnel carriers are rumbling through the streets. Ukraine accuses Russia of invading. Russia denies that. Tonight, President Obama warned Russia not to provoke a conflict. Russia is clearly flexing its muscle and in the midst of all this confusion, Canada's foreign minister was making the rounds in Ukraine's capital. Our Paul Johnson is in Kiev tonight. Paul? Donna, another day of intense and fast-moving events in Ukraine. While things remain peaceful here in Independence Square in Kiev, if you talk to people, there is a sense of deep worry about the future of their country, even as Western countries are rallying to their side. The latest being Canada, with a visit from Foreign Minister John Baird today. They have no markings on their uniforms, and the only things they have to signify their authority are the weapons in their hands. These are the men who started patrolling airports on Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula this morning. Their intentions and chain of command unclear, but their loyalty clearly with the Russian-speaking population in the country's south and east. This man says the men he's with are local Crimean workers, retired servicemen and pensioners. But with their matching uniforms, weapons and professional-looking tactics, they don't look very much like volunteers, raising suspicions they could be part of an advance force for a bigger Russian military operation in the future. It was in Russia that Ukraine's ousted president, Viktor Yanukovych, gave his first televised news conference. Wanted on murder charges at home, he was defiant, insisting that he is still the legitimate president of Ukraine and challenged Russia to back him up. I think Russia should and is obliged to act, he said. And knowing the character of Vladimir Putin, I am surprised he is so restrained and keeping silent. And in the midst of this tension, Foreign Minister John Baird visited Kiev today, laying flowers at the spot where dozens were killed last week, touring a medical clinic where wounded demonstrators were treated, and meeting with former and current Ukrainian leaders, including former boxer Vitaly Klitschko and the newly appointed interim prime minister. We feel that the Western world and mainly Canada supports the Ukrainian people and that's really great that we are not alone, we are together. Baird says Canada will stand shoulder to shoulder with Ukrainians in their period of crisis and brushed aside any ideas that Canada was taking sides prematurely. Canada is not the world's referee. Uh, we stand on the side of the Ukrainian people. We stand for peace, prosperity, security uh, and freedom. And Baird met with a long list of most of the people who are now in power here in Kiev. He is the first top diplomat from a Western country to do so, sending an unmistakable message to Ukrainians, to Russians, and to the rest of the world which side Canada has picked in this crisis, and it is with the new pro-Western government here. Donna? Paul Johnson in Kiev tonight. Thank you, Paul.